you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Emmy. I'm a certified nutritionist and the creator of the Slim on Starch program. Today we are talking about bloating. I swear I get asked about bloating. If I had a dime every time I was asked about bloating, honey, I would be eating medjool dates with the finest, what else is expensive on this lifestyle? <laughs> finest potatoes for 79 cents a pound. Anyway, let's talk about bloating. So the first thing that I want to talk about when it comes to bloating is, honeys, let's be realistic. At the end of the day, our tummy is going to be bigger than it was at the beginning of the day because we simply have food in our stomachs. I do not have a perfectly flat stomach at the end of the day. I have a little mini food baby and that's totally normal because there's just food in my stomach from all of the food that I've eaten that day. That is healthy, that is normal, that is the way that it should be. We need not expect to have a flat stomach all the time. And sometimes I'll even wake up and I'll still be digesting a little bit of food. That is okay. It's okay for our stomachs not to be flat all the time. And I want us to remove that expectation to understand that there is such thing as normal bloating and it's just having food in your stomach. Another little caveat that I want to talk about is that if you are new to the whole foods plant-based lifestyle, which is the diet that I eat and the diet that people experience a lot of bloating on, which is a diet of starches, vegetables, fruits, legumes, it's all these whole unprocessed foods that have a lot of fiber, a lot of water, and a lot of bulk to them. There's not many calories in them, so we have to eat huge quantities in order to get enough calories, whereas on a standard American diet, the food is so calorically dense that you can eat smaller portions and get enough calories. So when you move over to this diet and you have to eat larger quantities, your stomach can be a little bit distended because you're just eating so much more food than you used to be. Another thing is that your stomach muscles aren't strong enough in order to digest all of this food. So as time goes on, your stomach muscles will become stronger and they will be able to handle all of this food. But for so, so long, for years and years and years, our stomach muscles haven't had to be that strong because we've been giving it food that's lightly processed, the digestion was pretty much done for us, and we are eating small quantities. Now that we're giving our bodies food that requires a lot of energy to break down, it has a lot of bulk, it has a lot of fiber, it's in its whole form, our muscles are like, whoa, we've never done this much work before. And so it just can't hold in all of that food, which causes more of a distended stomach. So that's something to understand as well, is that with time, bloating does improve. All right, now let's talk about my tips and how I learned how to beat the bloat. So first thing is chew, chew, chew. Chew, chew, chew some more. Chew your food. Chew it until it is a mush. Chew, 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 chew before you swallow. What I often find is that people are scarfing down their food and they're swallowing so much air. They're swallowing food before it is, it's actually been chewed to a mush. And so the stomach has to do so much more work in order to digest the food. Whereas the breaking down process of the food begins in the mouth. It begins with our saliva. Our saliva helps to break down the food. And of course, chewing helps to break down the food as well. So if we just put food in our stomach that hasn't gone through that process, then the stomach has to do a lot more work and work that it wasn't cut out for in the first place, which causes a distended stomach. So chew, chew, chew your food until it is a baby mush. Number two, on the note of the digestive process, is to be present while you're eating your food and think about the food that you're eating. Digestion actually starts in the brain and our brain sends a signal to our stomach that says, all right, food's about to come, it's time for this thing to happen, and our stomach is able to release digestive enzymes in order to break down the food. If we miss out on this mental part of eating and we aren't aware that we're eating the food, then our stomach misses out on getting the secretions of those digestive enzymes because our brain never told our stomach that food was coming if we're not present during our meal. And so that can, that can cause bloating as well because our stomach just isn't prepared for the food that's coming. So when you're eating, Think about the food that you're eating so that your brain can send the signal to your stomach, all right, we gotta get the digestion going, let's go ahead, let's do this thing, and that your digestion can be a-okay without bloating. Next tip is 
to eat slowly. As I talked about earlier, when people scarf down their food, they swallow a lot of air. So chew your food very slowly and eat your meal slowly so that you're not swallowing all of that air. And so there's time for digestion to happen. If you think about a pool, when somebody jumps into a pool and they do a cannonball, they, it's like this huge hit and there's a huge splash. As opposed to somebody who just goes to the shallow end of the pool and just walks in slowly, there's no splash. And the same goes for when we eat. If our stomach is just sitting there and then all this food comes bam, rushing in, it's gonna be an explosion and your stomach's gonna explode and bloat. But if you think about eating like you're just dipping into the pool very slowly, our stomach's not gonna get that big hit, that big bloat. Movement and exercise is very important for bloating as well. When we exercise more, we increase the, the strength of the muscles in our core. And when, the, when our muscles are stronger in our core, as I talked about earlier, we can digest food better. So exercise in that sense, something like running even engages your core because you're standing upright all the time and you're holding your posture for a long period of time. That will increase your core strength. Doing ab workouts is gonna increase your core strength strength. Get those stomach muscles nice and strong so that they can digest food well. And then my last tip for bloating is to cut out the chewing gum. Chewing gum is horrible for bloating. I have not had a piece of chewing gum since I went vegan. I have not had a piece of chewing gum in over four years because it was so bad for my bloating. We swallow so much air when we chew gum and that is gonna inflate our stomach like a balloon. So get rid of that chewing gum. All right, honeys, that is it for the tips. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. And any video requests that you want, leave a comment. Woo!